Are you Elizabeth have plans tonight? Uh, Christmas was our big celebration this year, so we didn't make any plans for tonight. Maybe you should have let Elizabeth know. Um, I have no idea what plans we made. That's because we didn't make any. But I have something particular in mind. Really? Okay. Where am I taking you? Oh, no, 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 no. I am taking you. And as soon as you get in the car, you're going to be wearing this. Careful, do the step. Step down. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, hold on, just be patient. Uh, okay, this is beginning to feel familiar. I really wanted to take you to Luke's Club, but since it's now a print shop, this was the next best thing. And if my memory serves me correctly, way back when we were too young for champagne, so a little groupy or anyone? Yes, I've come full circle, haven't I? <laughs> Joy, don't forget our deal, Coleman. Blackmail? No. No? No. We're like a bribery. Oh, okay. <laughs> so are we having uh, ribs and cheese fries? I'm so glad you remembered. Of course I remember. It's one of the best nights of my life. Even though I was extremely nervous. No, you weren't. Yeah, I was. Here, let me get your coat. Thanks. I think I was always this suave, sophisticated guy. I was terrified. <laughs> I was the one who was terrified and flattered that you went through so much trouble for me. Yeah, I melted the cheese to pour on the fries and made a mess of everything. But you know what? None of that mattered. Because when I asked you to be my girl, you said yes. Actually, I believe what I said was I already was your girl. And I still am. I think I know how you pulled this off. Really? Well, this ought to be good. Please tell me. Yeah, New Year's is always a big night for Jake's. Mm -hmm. And every year, just before closing, uh, someone who's drunk picks a fight with someone else who's drunk, and the PD has to shut him down. So Coleman decided to skip the drinking and the fighting and the cops and just jump right to the shutting down. How was that? That close? That was a good story, but no, not yeah. close. <laughs> It was a combination of good timing and decent luck. I guess Sonny's pretty upset that one of the bartenders here served liquor to Michael. Yeah, I told you I was the one who drove him home. I know, so I thought it'd be a good idea if I just asked Coleman if I could have a place for you and me. And he said, yeah, that it would be great to shut down the place for the evening. And he wants to spend the night with Kate Howard. I guess they had plans over Christmas and she flaked on him and flew to Switzerland. Amazing. <laughs> Tell me how you bribed him. Ugh. Come on, Elizabeth. Ugh. I know you made a deal. Look, it's right here in black and white. Okay, okay, okay. I, I sort of implied I had a little pool with a certain detective. And if all goes well, then I might be able to convince him not to cite Jake's for serving a minor. Are you compromising my integrity, ma'am? Oh, no, sir. You sure? Because it would be a little disconcerting to find out that my fiancé was sneaking around behind my back and I didn't have a clue. It's okay. I was just joking. I know. I've taken you for granted. Well, it happens when two people know each other as well as we do. Yeah, but it shouldn't. And that's why I did this for you tonight. To show you how much I love you. Because nothing makes me prouder or gives me more hope and joy than being your girl. All of my best memories and all of the happiest days of my life have you in them. I promise to never disappoint you again. 
we're gonna play some pool. <laughs> you don't know how to play. Oh, but I've been practicing. So are you up for it or not? Oh, I'm, I'm up for it. I just don't know if it's gonna be a fair fight. Why don't you put your money where your mouth is? Okay, 20 bucks says not enough practice in the world could uh, make you be able to beat me. Uh, how about we make it a little more interesting and say if I win, you owe me dinner for a week. If my cooking's your reward, you might want to <laughs> aim a little higher. I don't know if ever heard anything about you cooking. You can take me out or order it. I don't care as long as I don't have to cook. And what if I win? Hmm? Well, then you get your New Year's present. We don't give New Year's presents. Oh. Shut up and break. Okay. Uh. <laughs> don't say you weren't warned. Well, I really had you on the ropes for a while, huh? Hey, I know you weren't thinking you were actually going to win. Oh, maybe. Okay, so... What's this uh, so-called present that you've threatened me with? I'm mm -hmm. so excited. Wait. Surprise. Is that, that's my old guitar case. Yep. Where did you find it? In your attic. I thought it was time. Dug it out. Attic? What are you doing up there? <laughs> Crazy? Man, I haven't seen this in years. Crazy. What? Did you get new strings? The guy at the music shop said whoever owned it took beautiful care of it. Really? And I remembered how much you loved to play and how much I loved to listen to you. <laughs> what would I do without you? It's cold.